I can't keep my hands to myself. No What's up, YouTube and Amazon? Jefferson here with the starters page. DB Power gave me the opportunity to review their little guy right here. This is the DB Power mini projector. And even though it's really small, it actually can pack a huge punch on there. As usual, all the ports are in the back, which is really sweet, easier to manage the cables. And you have a USB port right here. You also have a full-size HDMI cable. You have the headphone jack, which is quite surprising, but to me, that was really useful because if you don't want to bother anyone around you, you can just plug in headphones to this and you're pretty much good to go, which is really awesome. You also have an AV output right here and it comes with the adapter, which is really awesome. I'm surprised DB Power included this. So if you're still using your component cables, you have access right away without having to spend a little bit more money, even though they're inexpensive. You have your infrared sensor right here and the remote that comes included with it it, it does the job, but make sure you're pointing at it. You can get away without pointing directly at it as long as it's near it, but if you're pretty far away from it, then you might have a little trouble unless you point directly to this. I wish it was Bluetooth connectivity, but um, I'm glad that it has a remote control included. And you also have a VGA connector right here, so if you wanted to plug this into your computer, laptop, you can so that's really awesome at the top you have your power button right here it does take a little time to kind of warm up which i guess depending on you that's more preference me i'm kind of an impatient person when it comes to technology so those several seconds that you kind of have to wait tends to bug me but once it's on it's on it doesn't really bug me after that it does take a little time to kind of warm up so make sure you take that into consideration but it's not that long at all it seems like it's all well ventilated which is really sweet you have some vents in the bottom definitely in the side of the ports as well to get the best resolution out of this thing if there are some lights that's peeking through you could still see it but it does mess up the picture resolution and the image of it so make sure you guys take that into consideration you have a pretty loud fan in here it didn't really bother me as much but it's something to take note of so if you guys are planning to keep this close to you make sure you compensate for that fan and plug in like really good speakers to this thing so you won't notice it as much one of my favorite features on this i'm not too sure if that's a standard but you do have a quarter inch tripod mount right here so you can mount this on a tripod or you can mount this on a wall which a lot of people actually does which is really sweet the other cool thing about this is that you have a level adjustment right here and let me move this away if for whatever reason you need to increase the height of it you could just loosen that knob up and it would raise the actual projector it's actually pretty stable considering it's only in that point so that's really awesome and neat definitely stable on the bottom the top is stable as well unless you go to the sides but all in all it never really caused any issue for me i love how this is included on there the thing about this is that I wish you just had to press a button, it kind of just moves up and down. But I'm just glad that they included something like right there so you could change the height on there. Everything is constructed out of plastic. It's not the best feeling, honestly. It feels cheap, but for the price and considering what you get out of it, it's definitely worth it. And I would definitely recommend checking it out. You have four rubber feet on the bottom, which helps keep everything kind of in place. It will move around if you guys were to have this on a surface, but it's nothing slippery. So even though I could move it around, it doesn't feel like it's going to slip around. And since those are slightly padded, it gives you a slight, slight, not going to benefit that much, but it does slightly absorb any vibration on there. Don't get me wrong, 
you will still see those vibrations if someone moves this thing, but it's still slightly padded, which is nice, and it would absorb any minor, you know, bumps here and there. So that's definitely something to consider. I love how compact it is. It does not come with the carrying case. So that's something to consider if you guys want to travel with this. I wish it did come with one, but it did come with this component adapter, which is really sweet. The user manual is surprisingly straightforward. The English on here is not that bad, honestly. It gives you a lot of diagrams, which is really sweet. The remote control itself feels somewhat similar to the projector. You have a cheap plastic uh, feel on there. The remote control does not feel premium, but all in all, it doesn't feel bad at all. I'm glad that it does come included with one. It's very straightforward, never had any issues with connection. One thing I did want to point out is that it does accept two AAA batteries and they're not included. So make sure you guys buy yourself a brand new set if you guys don't have one. I use rechargeable batteries on here. Uh, that's pretty much it guys. This is the DB Power Mini Projector. If you have any questions, make sure you guys put them in the comment box below. I'm more than willing to answer any questions you guys may have. Other than that, my name is Jefferson. This is the DB Power Mini Projector. I like always guys and girls. Take care. Oh, cuz all of the downs in the outburst keep making love to each other. And we try and try and try and try.